briefly here is this, the, uh, the channel message. is equal to log, it's a log likelihood ratio, so it's a log of some probability, what LC really is, so any log likelihood ratio, remember, is log probability x equals 0 divided by probability x equals where LC comes from is that in my uh, in my graph, so uh, this this is a variable node in a graph. Down here, these go to the code. In other words, they're connect, these edges on the bottom are connected to checks. This edge on the top is connected to the observation. So this is x, that's the, the bit in the code word, and there's some observation up here y. The function between them is f of y given x. Now, y is observed. So our rule, which I've mentioned uh, previously, our rule when we observe something in the factor graph is that we get rid of it and simply plug it in to whatever expression it appears in. So uh, that means LC, the message traveling along this edge, is the log likelihood ratio um, for x, where y is plugged in here. So whatever y is, I plug it in. And I get p of y given x equals 0 divided by p of y given x equals 1. Now this is a very important message because this is, for one thing, this expresses the information you glean from channel observations of, of whatever code word was transmitted. And secondly, this message is what helps you start the decoding process. So let's have an example. In a, in a binary symmetric channel, Binary symmetric channel is a special kind of discrete memoryless channel, and I hope you'll remember this um, description of it. So these are my inputs x, these are my outputs y. And the probability that if x is 0 and y is 1, the probability, excuse me, the probability that x is 0 and y is 1 is p. Actually, more correctly, the probability that y is 1 given that x is 0. Probably that y is 0 given that x is 0 is 1 minus p. So in other words, p is the flip probability. Actually, I'm going to call that the crossover probability. That'll be p sub c. And similarly, it's symmetric because it doesn't matter if you send a 0 or a 1. The crossover probability is the same. So in other words, whatever you send, there's some probability p c that that bit will be flipped. So I can write that as f of y given x is equal to um, 1 minus pc if um, y is equal to x and pc if uh, y is not equal to x, where y and x are constrained to the set 0 and 1. So implicitly we have x and y are in 0, 1. What does this mean for LC? LC is equal to log f of y given x equals 0 divided by f of y given x equals So, what, there are two possibilities for y. So, if y is equal to 0, I have um, log f of 0 given x equals 0. Actually, let me write that y equals 0 given x equals 0 divided by f of y equals 0 given x equals 1. So, remember my rule I'm plugging.
plugging in y. So if I see that y is 0, this is my expression for the log likelihood ratio, which is equal to log the numerator. We have y and x are equal. So that's log 1 minus pc divided by, and in the denominator, y and x are unequal. So that's pc. Similarly, if y is equal to 1, then we have log f of y equals 1 given x equals 0, divided by f of y equals 1 given x equals 1, which is equal to, which should that be? Pc. That's right. Log pc over 1 minus pc. And because of the properties of log, it turns out whatever this is, this will be minus that. So in other words, it's the same amount of information with a flip sign. So for instance, if PC is equal to 0 0.1, in other words, one tenth of every of all the bits are flipped. Then we will have log 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.1. Uh, if y is 0, excuse me. We have log 0 0.9 over 0 0.1, log of 9. Anybody have a calculator or anything with them? Nobody ever has a calculator. Um, I'd say that's a little more than two. So three squared is nine, and e is a little less than three. So e squared is um, a little a little less than nine. This would probably be approximately equal to 2. And for n equals 1, excuse me, y equals 1, it's a y, I have log 1 over 0 0.9, which is equal to log 1 over 9, which is negative log of 9, which is approximately equal to minus 2. Um, let's look at a funny example. This one will come up from time to time. 